Located to the northeast of Verona, Valpolicella is one of the most important wine producing territories in Italy. The area is protected against the cold north winds by the natural barrier of the Lessini Mountains. Valpolicella benefits from a unique microclimate that favours the cultivation of vines and olives. The gentle slopes of these hills in the early 18th century village of Casterna are home to the Valentina Cubi Agricultural Company. Its winery is a brilliant example of the modernization of grape processing techniques, admirably combined with respect for the age-old local winemaking traditions. Thanks to this close relationship, throughout all phases of the restoration of the premises, the architectural features of the original structure, an open courtyard facing down the valley, were kept intact. Completion of the renovation of the wine cellar in 2003 marked the launch of the first bottled wines bearing the label of the producer. The fruit of a flourishing and deep-rooted local tradition, love for the land and a passion for winemaking. In the beginning, the family dedicated itself with great fervour to the cultivation and restoration of the vineyards, which are spread over a 13-hectare area located in the municipalities of Fumane, San Pietro in Cariano and Verona. The partial replacement of the pre-existing pergolas, some have been maintained because of their great historical value, and the introduction of new cultivation systems such as guyo training, have led to improved fruit quality with a proportional reduction in the quantities produced. Close to the city, near the village of Parona, the company has established a new plant of this type on a three hectare area at the foot of the hills. The inside houses a modern subsidiary of the main winery, whose primary functions are product bottling and storage. The undisputed quality of the soil in which the vines are grown, with particular regard to the vineyards of Monte Tenda and Monte Crosetta, situated close to the winery, is due to its abundant content of clay and rock fragments. This composition, together with the position of the land at the top of the hill and its orientation, creates the ideal climatic conditions for the perfect ripening of grapes for the production of red wines of high quality and fine structure. The vine stock is made up of the main native varieties of the area, Corvina, Corvinone, Rondinella and, to a lesser degree, Molinara. The hill formation of the terrain, the cultivation system which does not allow for mechanised grape harvesting and the need to divide harvesting into two distinct phases, grapes for the appassimento or semi-drying process and those for autumn vinification, these are the reasons why, still today, all harvesting is done manually. All the grapes are characterised by slow, steady ripening. Harvesting takes place between late September and early October. The first grapes to be harvested are those destined for the production of Amarone and Recioto. They are selected directly in the vineyards, placed on special trays and stored on racks for the drying process. Next, the grapes for the production of Valpolicella, stocked in crates, are transferred to the cellars for fresh vinification. The grapes transferred directly from the vineyards for immediate processing first travel down a conveyor belt to be stripped of any leaves or wooden residue. They pass through a crusher destemmer which eliminates grape stems and performs soft pressing. The must obtained is conveyed into steel tanks in order to initiate colour extraction for subsequent fermentation. The containers in which the pomace undergoes maceration at regulated temperature are equipped with a device for periodic cap punching. This operation favours greater contact between the must and the pomace, which guarantees more thorough extraction of the colouring substance. Furthermore, oxygenation is increased, giving greater biomass efficiency and colour stability.
After being carefully selected in the vineyards, the grapes are gently placed on the trays and are checked for any surface ruptures which may compromise the fruit's quality. The trays are then stored on shelves for the slow drying process to begin. An old-style country house built amidst the vineyards of the rolling hills is where this process takes place. It is the ideal place for the drying process thanks to the favourable humidity and temperature conditions. Drying takes anywhere from 90 to 120 days to complete. The most obvious aspect of grape drying is the dehydration of the fruit. Weight loss is generally between 35 and 40 percent with a consequent increase in sugar and extract content. This process of transformation cannot be described simply as drying. Time plays a key role to such an extent that the process is referred to locally as resting rather than drying. Production of the pasito or raisin wines starts after the drying process has ended. This second vinification generally occurs between December and January, from which Amarone is produced when the sugar content is almost fully depleted and Recioto when there is a residual sugar level of 100 to 120 grams per litre. These last operations require technical know-how and particular care. Aging takes place in-house, in a barrel storage area at the Valentina Kubi winery. The area is designed in keeping with the traditional features of local cellars, but it is equipped throughout with modern humidity and temperature control systems. The picturesque architecture is characterized by sturdy brick walls along which orderly rows of barriques, tonneaux and large barrels are placed. During their lengthy ageing process, the wines are constantly monitored and periodically checked by expert enologists. The wines produced by the Valentina Cubi winery have a particular character. They range from the Valpolicella Superiore Il Tabarro and the Valpolicella Superiore Ripasso Arosnatico, both elegant and intense, to the fruity and spicy Valpolicella Classico Iperico. The selection moves on to include the generous and aristocratic Amarone Morale, the velvety and intense Recioto Melilotto, and the full, rich QB, a wine characterized by its lasting persistence. Particular care is taken in the production of a generous and intense Aquavite, or liqueur, distilled from Amarone and Recioto Pomes. The same care goes into the production of a fine extra virgin olive oil with excellent organoleptic properties. Wine must be rich in alchemy, and it must have a strong link to its land of origin. Empathy and strong synergy, which can be experienced only by both visiting and establishing intimate contact with the places of production and the wineries. This is why the Valentina Kubi winery is perfectly equipped for this purpose. Enjoy the warmth of a sumptuously laid table and taste the delights that local cuisine has to offer, accompanied by the most appropriate wines. A joyous occasion to savor the finest food and wine in pleasant company while enjoying the warm and friendly hospitality of the welcoming hosts. Come and experience this close contact with the culture and passion for both land and wine, which have been handed down through the generations and are yours to be shared to give value to the meaning of life. In the words of the journalist and historian Giuseppe Silvestri, neither the splendor of the landscape nor the events of history, the monuments of art nor the songs of the poets have brought such fame to Valpolicella as has its most typical product, wine words which sum up the truth about this enchanting and fertile Veneto land.